Welcome to N1 Industrial Electronics. This is another episode, and this takes us to chapter three on basic electrical principles. Thank you to subscribe and supporting my YouTube channel. Yeah, we have a simple electric circuit represented by a pictorial diagram and a circuit diagram. Now the components in this circuit is a battery, a switch, and a lamp. The circuit symbols, which represent the battery, the switch, and the lamp. Now when the switch is closed, conventional current will flow from positive to negative and the lamp will switch on. What is the main difference between EMF and potential difference? EMF is measured of a car battery when no load is connected to the battery. However, when we measure potential difference, a load is connected. If we look at this circuit diagram, we can see a voltmeter is measuring the potential difference across the lamp. The definition for a conductor, a conductor is a substance through which an electrical current can flow through easily. Here we have an insulator which is used for high voltage distribution. An insulator is a substance which prevents the flow of current. The definition for resistance, resistance is the opposition offered to the flow of electric current and a resistor is a device which has resistance as its chief property and is measured in ohms. Here we have a simple circuit with an ammeter in series to the load with conventional current flowing from positive to negative through the resistor. And here we have different types of resistors. Here we have a table with our quantity and measurement to the far left and we need to fill in the missing information for the symbol and unit. The electromotive force is V and the units is volts. The potential difference is V and the units is volts. The current is represented by the letter I and the units is amperes. Resistance is represented by the letter R and is measured in ohms. Power, the symbol is P and the units is watts. Yeah, I have a number line. Everything to the left of the number line is positive and everything to the right of the number line is negative. Now these exponents and quantities and units will help us with our calculations. Kilo is 10 to the exponent of three, mega 10 to the exponent of six, giga 10 to the exponent of nine, tera 10 to the exponent of 12, milli 10 to the exponent of minus three, Micro, 10 to the exponent of minus 6. Nano, 10 to the exponent of minus 9. And Pico, 10 to the exponent of minus 12. The definition for Ohm's law, according to Ohm's law, the current flowing in an electrical circuit is proportional to the applied voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit. Here we have a calculation. A heater element has a resistance of 50 ohms and is connected across a 200 volt supply. Determine the current drawn by this element. So the unknown factor in this calculation is current. We're gonna use Ohm's law to work out the answer. According to Ohm's law, current is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. The voltage is 200 and the resistance is 50 ohms. Therefore, the current flowing is four amps. Another calculation, calculate the power consumption of a 220 volt electric kettle, which draws five amps when connected to the correct supply. The voltage is 220, the current is five amps, and the power is the unknown factor. To calculate power, it is V times I, the voltage is 220, current is five amps, and that gives us 1,100 watts. Now to simplify this further, if we divide by 1,000, or we could say kilo is 10 to the exponent of three, it means that the power is 1,1 kilowatts. Thank you for supporting this channel. Please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.